Yo, good morning. I know you guys miss me, so I had to come back. Today is gonna be one heck of a day, kinda. We'll see why later on. Well, welcome back. Now, before I get started with anything today, the first thing I need to do is get a iced tea, get an iced tea from Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know why I've been doing that a lot lately, but like that's been the first thing I've been doing every day for like the past two weeks. After obviously I get ready and stuff to go out, uh, let's go to Dunkin' Donuts to get an iced tea. And hopefully they get it right this time. So we'll find out. Yes, can I have a medium iced tea, extra sweet? Anything else? And an uh, order of hash browns, and that's okay. it. Three seventy-six. Thank you. You're welcome. So anyway, uh, it's May, which means it's finals time, graduation time, and uh, if you're graduating, congratulations. If you just finished finals, congratulations. If you're still doing finals, good luck, and uh, I hope you finish soon and do very good. I had two finals. One was an exam. It was like, I think 20 questions. I got a 90 on it. I didn't study, <laughs> which explains the 90. Ah, no, I'm not an overachiever, not a perfectionist, but you know, whatever. I guess I'm kind of an academic hypocrite, I guess. But nonetheless, uh, the other uh, final I had was to submit a program because it's a programming class. We had to design a program and I designed a a uh, calculator, not a basic calculator, it's actually a, a hotel checkout calculator where uh, you select the number of rooms you uh, have on your reservation, uh, the number of nights you stay, the number of guests that you have, and I got an A on it, so <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some last minute shopping and uh, see you in a bit, like a second, because you're not gonna be there the whole time. All right, that tea wasn't all the way there either. I need some more sugar, but maybe I don't need all that sugar. It's an omen. Well, I went and got what I needed to get. And when I was walking to my car, there was this uh, lady and she asked me if I had 50 cents. If you don't know by now, even outside of the vlog, like if you, if you know me personally, uh, you know that I hate, I absolutely hate carrying change, like coins and stuff. So, I never have coins, like very rarely, and I don't really use cash like that anymore, um, because I don't like carrying cash either. So, the lady asked me for 50 cents, and I said I didn't have any, but then I remembered I might have some in my car. So, I went to my car, and I looked inside, and I couldn't find any quarters, So, I f but I found a lot of dimes, nickels. So, I managed to scrape up five dimes, and I gave it to her, and, uh, she went on about her merry way. I don't know what the heck she needed it for. Maybe to get on the bus or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know. God bless her. She just, she just kind of walked away. I was like, alright. <laughs> cool. I'm actually really excited about today. Like, the next four or five days. Four or five? Four? Three? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't count. This is not in my calling. Whoa. That slip though. <laughs> anyway, Nina says hi. She says hi. She misses the vlog. And I'm pretty sure the vlog misses her. But she's doing very good. Still healthy and happy. Since the day I got her. Here I go rambling. <laughs> this is gonna be a long vlog of me just talking. Interestingly enough though, there is this like weird clicking sound coming from the front. I was assuming it was a ball joint because it's rhythmic and it's relative to the speed I'm going. If I'm going like three miles an hour, it'll sound like tick, 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 or if I'm going like two, like tick, 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 tick. So I was thinking that it's a ball bearing, ball joint, whatever. So I take it to Honda yesterday and they look at, they look at the car, they, you know, check it out. And they said they couldn't replicate the sound, but they could replicate the sound of the brakes because sometimes with the window even up, you can hear it squeaking without me actually applying the brakes, which is, strange because i've never ever heard of that happening with as many cars that i've driven as many cars that i've been in in various conditions and i've never ever heard that happen before with a car that yeah but 
that's because the rotors like really suck and I need to uh, replace the rotors but fortunately like I'm glad I replaced the pads when I did because those old pads were grinding and I hated that noise and it was very embarrassing so I have on the new new pads and the service advisor at Honda is like his excuse literally is always well because you're using aftermarket parts it's gonna sound noisy I'm like no, not quite, because there are plenty of people that don't have OEM stuff and their brakes sound fine. That excuse does not like sit with me at all. Like I don't I don't agree with it and I think it's crap. So uh nevertheless I'm gonna Great. 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 Freaking Prius. I've been planning on replacing the rotors anyway, but uh, I just haven't had the, the resources to do that. But I will when I get the resources too because I would love to replace them. And I'll probably replace the pads as well so everything is replaced at once and I don't have pads in okay condition and brand, brand new rotors. So, you know, it'll be interesting. And I'll get it together <laughs> eventually. And now that I've talked so much, I honestly wonder how much more of this vlog will be of vlog stuff. I'm kind of getting used to it again. Like, this is how I used to do vlogs, is just talk for a long time and uh before i actually showed anything else today i'm gonna you know sort of just say you know f it and go along with vlogging like legitimately and just like having the camera in my face and talking to this camera in public so people look at me like i'm on drugs or something it's completely fine so i'm gonna do that and if i'm apprehensive or a little hesitant later on you'll you'll understand and you'll see why i'm not a I'm not a daily vlogger. I don't vlog or have a camera in my face all the time. <laughs> so it's it's still kind of weird. But, I mean, go big or go home, right? So uh, today is going to be very, very, very interesting, I hope. If not interesting, really cool. Because I like these days. And if you're still oblivious as to why I'm saying all of this about today being XYZ, Wait a minute. <laughs> You'll see why later in the vlog. It won't be very long for you, but it'll be very long for me. Actually, not really. It's a, it's already quarter to 11, and um, I haven't even gotten ready, <laughs> like, officially for this thing that's happening. So, yeah. I'll explain that later. Maybe in a second. Boom! Yo, there's actually a front street. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm on front street, actually, I guess. Yep, now I'm on Front Street. <laughs> so since I'm gonna be vlogging today, it's gonna be pretty interesting to Snapchat and vlog because I started Snapchatting today. I don't, not today, but I started a few months ago, actually. It's fun, and that's partially why I kind of put the vlog on hold. I'm gonna try and do both today. It should be fun. So I'm on Front Street again, and it's it's really, really nice over here. Like, I would love to live over here. And it's right by the water, even though the water isn't the prettiest body of water. Um, I would love to live over here. Like, look, it's so nice. These little, like, townhouses and such, such, such. I've lived in a townhouse before, and they're, they're really good. But this area is a lot more clean <laughs> and nice and stuff. So I would love to live over here. But I'm not gonna, ever. So, I mean, it's... Wishful thinking uh, doesn't hope to, you know, sort of imagine yourself somewhere nice. Don't get deep. Don't get deep. Because, of course, there's always traffic wherever I'm trying to go somewhere. Fortunately, though, not in a rush. Like, I have a bunch of times. According to my GPS, I'm supposed to get to the airport. Yeah, the airport. The airport at 243 and it's 219 right now and I'm only like maybe 20 minutes away. So I'm good. Whatever. Flight is at 5, 514 or 512. Something like that. So I'm good. I just hate being in traffic. Well I'm here at the airport, basically, um, trying to find a parking spot in this garage. And 
I'm glad I'm not, well, I'm not glad, but fortunately I'm not staying a full week down in Florida. Oh, crap, I'm going to Florida. But I will tell you why yet. Yeah. I'm staying there for four days, I think, and uh, the parking rate, the parking rate is 75 or 74 bucks a week. I prefer parking in, in a garage. So, I mean, I'm, I'm taking the L kind of, um, there's like no parking. Oh, this is four. Need five. Yeah, I prefer parking in a garage, so I didn't want to cut corners and park on a in a parking lot. And have my car exposed to like different weather, and you know. And there's cameras in the garage too, which is awesome. So, it, God forbid anything stupid happens, it'll be caught on tape. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go to go up. I don't know. This is weird. I've, I've never done this before. Like I feel like I'm brand. New. Ooh, that's a parking spot, and it's right by the elevator. Hey. Oh, there's another one too. I don't usually do this one. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me stop my. Am I on the lines, guys? The line? Oh, I just hit the. Ha! I was just for not looking. I don't know how I feel about leaving my car here. Like, I've left my car places to go on vacation before, but this one feels different for some reason. I'll be alright, though. Chewy, all right. Let's uh, get checked in. Actually, I already checked in online, so does that mean I have to check in again? Like here at the airport to actually print out my boarding pass. Like, are the passport passes accepted? Like, I've never tried it. I always thought I would get crap for it. So I get uh, a print. I get the printed boarding pass anyway. Pedestrian bridge to terminal number three. Guess we're going in level three. That was <laughs> kind of regretting taking this book bag, the, the red one, gray one, whatever, instead of my like shoulder bag for my laptop because this is really, it's not uncomfortable but it's kind of annoying. It's just dangling there instead of like being secure and around my neck. But whatever. Ooh, a warning in case you don't know. Notice the entire crossway here. Thank you. checkpoint wasn't annoying like it normally is. Just kind of shocking. But uh, yeah. I'm just gonna chill here for a little while until the plane comes. And we're gonna go on the plane. And we're gonna go to Florida. Very exciting. Okay.
good flight. It's quick. I'm here safe, thankfully. And I have a shuttle to catch. Cool, I guess. So, so I'm here. Well, I've been here, but waiting for my shuttle and stuff. Now, to go home. Not Connecticut home, but home here. But yeah, it's been a couple of minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't really care, because it's really nice out for a Florida night. I don't know, maybe it's like 75? What is it? Oh, 81. And it's muggy, but it's it's breezy, so it's real cool and nice for 81 degrees. No, there's no sun on my face, which is great, because yeah, I know I hate the sun on my face. It's out here. crazy because I keep talking to myself uh, to the cameras and stuff I was doing a little bit of snapchat too so it's cool I'm ready to go home now and I'm hungry that McDonald's earlier gonna be crap yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway what I don't miss about Florida are these bugs <laughs> like I'm not afraid of bugs I just hate them especially when they're in my way a few minutes ago there was a bug on my phone it wasn't a big bug it was a real small bug but like Bro, why are you on my phone, bro? Like, go, go, crawl up somebody else's stuff. Not mine. I want to try that Uber thing on the way. Uh, I heard a lot of things about it. Or Uber and like really cool cars. And I feel like Florida would be the place for that to happen. Well, they're like New York and like LA or something, but Florida definitely. So, I mean, I would have, I, no, I would have tried it today because this was already set up. And, uh, no, one day. One day. I may be sweaty, but I came prepared. <laughs> this rag is the best rag ever. Thank you, Cammy. She put me onto it. She has it for tennis, a couple of them actually. This particular brag, brag, rag from Walmart. And I had to get one because I sweat a lot, as you guys know. If you haven't noticed, learned about me already. So I'm in the van now, obviously. It's Fanny. Uh, the guy went inside for a second, I guess he said he had to speak to somebody. I don't know, whatever. I hope there's food at home, because I'm hungry. Oh look, it's a plane. Wow, it's a plane. I didn't think I would ever see a plane at the airport. Ha ha ha. that there's everything under the sun but mustard. How am I supposed to make a cold cut sandwich without mustard? What am I supposed to use, mayonnaise? <laughs> no, it's kind of frustrating and depressing and all sorts of things. I'm gonna use some salsa. Ew, <laughs> salsa on a cold cut sandwich. Man, that sucks. Whatever, I'm cool. I used to eat sandwiches dry a long time ago. Then I discovered mustard. I've been eating it with it ever since. Anyway, I think now is a good time to end the vlog. <laughs> you guys, tomorrow, in the next vlog, or the day after, whatever, uh, I'm gonna spend the rest of the night watching freaking Impractical Jokers. So, see you guys later. Peace. Boom.